guys welcome to a very very short video all right in this video we're going to go through how to draw a diagram for uh, an increase in your demand and a fall in supply all right so this is looking at your microeconomics uh, how are we going to draw it step by step so it's going to be a very quick video so firstly what you want to do is of course you want to label your diagram so go ahead and indicate your y-axis which is going to be your price and then your x-axis which is going to be the quantity Right, after that, you want to label your graphs, right? Your uh, the two curves. So you have got the demand curve and the supply curve. Right? We're gonna call it curve one, uh, for each of them. And then after which you want to be able to label down, um, your equilibrium quantity and the original equilibrium price. So just go ahead and draw some dotted lines, right, to your equilibrium point, which is the intersection of the two curves. And then after which, we can start to draw our new curves. So because we are doing an increase in demand, let's just start with the increase in the demand. So I'm using a software over here, right? On your paper, you would just be drawing a line that is an increase, which, it, which means that it will be a rightwards shift. So an increase in demand from D DD1 to DD2, the new demand curve. And now we have the decrease in supply. So you just want to draw the supply curve, the new supply curve, which should be to the left. If it's a decrease, it will be a leftward shift. This will be SS2, supply curve number two. All right, now what you want to do is you want to locate where the intersection point of the two new curves are going to be at. So just look for an intersection where the two new curves intersect. Uh, before that, you want you can just go ahead and label down right the, the decrease in supply and the increase in demand with these arrows. Alright, now let's locate. So it's at this point over here uh, where SS2 and DD2 actually intersects. So this would be our new equilibrium quantity as well as our new equilibrium price. So go ahead and mark those down as well. And that is all you need to do. So it's actually very simple. Um, now we're just going to draw over our, our price. Okay, so this would be our new price. So as you can see very clearly from this diagram, there has been an increase in your price from P1 to P2. But your quantity on diagram may look as though it has um, actually increased, okay? But in reality, this may not be so, right? You have to always look at the individual cases of the increase in demand and the fall in supply because they lead to difference, th uh, different outcomes in terms of your equilibrium quantity. The quantity will hence the change will be actually uncertain. So the conclusion that you have here is that the new equilibrium price will increase, but the new equilibrium quantity will actually be uncertain. So how do we determine whether it has increased or decreased? You will then need to look at the extent of change. So in this case, the reason why quantity has somewhat looked as though it has increased is because our increase in demand here on the diagram, I've drawn a slightly bigger gap than the, the, the fall in supply. So as a result, uh, the quantity will sway towards an increase, the, the new equilibrium quantity. So in reality, look at the extent of demand and supply change and you'll be able to answer these kind of questions very well.